hi guys welcome back to cali j's kitchen in today's video i'll take you guys in the kitchen with me and i'll show you how to prepare this amazing coconut bread pudding don't forget to subscribe to my channel turn on your post notification bell so you guys can always be notified whenever i upload a new video go ahead and tell your friends tell your family members about cali j's kitchen and have them subscribe to my channel follow me on instagram it's Kali Kitchen underscore one and also on Facebook it's Kali J's Kitchen so in a large bowl I'm gonna go in with my brown sugar if you guys don't have the brown sugar you can always go ahead and use granulated sugar or if you want to mix both sugar together you can always go ahead and do so I also went in and add some melted butter and you can always check your local supermarket or grocery shop for all of these items that I'm using today remember to be creative remember to be you in the kitchen and most of all utilize whatever you have at home i will also go in and add two eggs and please be sure to just remove the eye from the egg the eye is that white attachment to the yolk combine all of that goodness together and you always want to ensure that your sugar is dissolved properly once everything is nicely dissolved i will also go in and add all of my spices i will add my nutmeg my cinnamon powder i will also go in and add some of my mixed spice and they do have the mixed spice in the liquid on the market you can always go ahead and check that out and of course i will also go in and add some of my vanilla flavoring as you can see i went in and i add a small amount of salt and of course i'm gonna add my coconut milk powder but if you guys have the authentic coconut milk you can always go ahead and use it but i do not have it so i will just use the coconut milk powder combine all of that goodness together i will also add some of my cocomania rum and you can get this rum at your local supermarket or you can just visit your liquor shop and of course you will get this rum there as well for the rum you can always go ahead and pour any amount you want you know but don't try not to pour too much because you don't want it to be to overpower the bread pudding all right i will also go in and add some water and combine all of this goodness together so this bread pudding should take you roughly about 45 minutes to prepare really easy really simple and it was just delicious christmas is coming you can always go ahead and prepare this for your family and make this a part of your christmas menu this year So once everything is nicely combined together, we're just going to go in and add the bread. Of course, I'm using white bread today and some persons don't like to use the white bread. They prefer to use the brown bread. You can always go ahead and use it. So once you add the bread to the liquid, you just go ahead and combine everything together nicely. And you always want to ensure that your bread is soaked properly for me once i combine everything together nicely i like to just give it another additional just five minutes put it to the side so it can do its thing and i also went ahead and preheat my oven at 250 degrees that's what i normally use you guys should know your oven and know how it works and as i said within 45 minutes to an hour they should be ready I will also make a little topping for my bread pudding and basically the topping is some of the rum and some of the coconut milk powder and I also added a little tubs of water and some of the spices and some sugar and combine everything together and just put it on the stove and allow it to come to a boil. So I went ahead and just spray my Pyrex dish with my Pam cooking spray and then I'm going to pour out all of this bread pudding mixture and just put it in the oven and allow it to bake and then i'll come back and show you guys what it looks like and we are also going to go ahead and put the topping um on top of the bread pudding so stay tuned i hope you guys enjoy this one and i hope you guys 
i hope you guys will just try it out and let me know what you think about it and also if you're going to make it for christmas so guys this is my bread pudding it's all ready so we're just gonna add the topping on top of it and we're going to allow it to just stay there for roughly about another 20 to 25 minutes you want it to cool down a little bit before you cut into it if you cut into your bread pudding while it's very hot you might um realize that it just break apart so you just have to allow it to just cool down and come together before you cut into it all right so we're just gonna add the topping as i said and just allow it to just stay there and then we're gonna come back and cut into it once it's cooled down a little bit So now it's time to go ahead and cut into the bread pudding and it was still a little bit soft but that is okay so we're just gonna cut into it and i'll show you guys what it looks like on the inside really soft and nice i add this for the entire day and trust me it was just so good I don't like my bread pudding too tough i like my bread pudding a little bit soft as it says bread pudding you know bread pudding not supposed to be tough it's supposed to be soft so we're just gonna serve this up and show you guys the final product and there you have it guys the final product of my amazing coconut bread pudding i hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe i hope you guys go ahead and subscribe and turn on your post notification bell and try out this recipe and let me know what you think we're on our way to 7k subscribers guys help me get there bye